Hi guys, HSBC just downgraded Neo's stock price from $69 down to $47, which is absurd. You don't just downgrade a stock price without having valid arguments. Looking at what they're saying in the article, it's really not valid. Let's look at it together. HSBC analyst Yukian Deng said in a research note sent to investors that Neo's August deliveries declined 26% month over month, mainly due to supply chain bottleneck disruptions. However, the analyst expects Neo's product cycle to pick up momentum with new models in 2022. My big problem right now, right here in the article, is that they have a price target lowered from $69 to $47. In the meanwhile, they're talking about it's going to be all right in 2022. A price target, let's not forget, is for 12 months or 18 months looking into the future. So right here you're saying it's going to be all right in the future, but we're going to still lower our price target. That's the first problem. Let's look at the next one. The analyst's reduced price target is due to lower earnings estimates for 2021 and 2022, as well as increased competition in the premium electric vehicle segment. So let's look at it this way. NIO is right now competing only in China and Norway. So the only competition we're having right now is in Norway and in China. When you look at my last video, you can definitely see that NIO is owning the Germans. So if we're talking about German competition, because we're talking about the luxury segment, so it's got to be the Germans up until now. NIO is owning that segment. The, the sales number for the Germans is lowering each month. The, the proof is in the pudding. You can ju just look at my previous video and it's there. Not only that, but lowering esti earning estimates, I don't think so. Because once the ET7 gets sold, it's, it has a way higher profit margin than all the other SUVs that NIO offers right now. And let's not forget the ET5 when it comes. So I don't know what these analysts are thinking right now at HSBC but it really doesn't add up. Maybe they're trying to create something so the, so the so other uh, companies, so other hedge funds, uh, private equity firms follow them in their footsteps and lower their price targets too, but it really doesn't make any sense. Then it reads, HSBC believes supply chain bottlenecks will likely offset the upside in overall demand as they impact the company's sales more than previously expected. We expect weaker sales in the medium term and accordingly lower our revenue forecast for 2021, 2022 and 2023 by an average of 3%. So you're, lower, so you're lowering the revenue forecast by 3% but you're lowering your price target by almost half. This does, really doesn't add up guys. NIO is right now producing eight, around 8,000 cars a month with the supply chain problems. So just looking at that, this what it reads here doesn't make sense because Neo will be having the Neo Park. Neo will be having the new factory. Next day, by next year, they will be able to produce 600,000 cars. So, this really doesn't add up. If you look at the sales numbers, 600,000 cars, let's say from that 600,000 cars, they're, they're just able to produce and sell 300,000 cars. Compared to this year, th that's more than double. So, that's three times more. What are we talking about here HSBC? Get your facts right. I really didn't see anything, anything in this article why HSBC would lower their price target that drastically low. So I'm not understanding it. If you understand it, let me know guys because I really don't get it right now. Everything is going good with new. The only problem is the supply chain issues, but that's not really a problem as they are upgrading more and more. We're going to have 300,000 cars by the end of this year with a double shift and 600,000 cars by the end of next year with a double shift. Even if you sell half of those cars, you're, even, you're, you're doubling the sales number of, of this year. So I don't understand these guys at HSBC. Make it make sense, guys. Anyway, I do believe this won't... Um, affect NIO that much, I hope so, because NIO will be growing a lot more. Just wait and see. We're, we're seeing some good stuff happening right now behind the scenes and I'm gonna make some videos more in the, in the new future about the good stuff happening. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget NIO is going to make it. We're gonna make it. Peace out.